This episode is brought to you by the Beyond Evangelical blog. The blog contains over 1,000 articles that you can freely read and share with your friends. There are six themes I write about on the blog, all of which are related to the deeper journey and moving beyond evangelical. They are God's Grand Mission, The Deeper Christian Life, Missional Organic Church, Rethinking the Status Quo, Personal Articles, and Humorous Articles. Subscription to the blog is free and it comes with three resources. Two digital books, Discipleship in Crisis and Rethinking the Will of God, as well as the Next Reformation Seminar. You can't get these books or the seminar any other way except by subscribing to the blog. You can check out the blog and subscribe at frankviola.org. Five marks that God is using you in tremendous ways. Now, many of you who listen uh, to this podcast, you're in ministry. Many of you are pastors, leaders of some kind, teachers in the body of Christ. And the question of, is God using me? Is he really using me? Am I making an impact? Is a question that many, many people who are in ministry ask themselves. And I have addressed this in other places, particularly this issue of results. And what I've said about it is counterintuitive and will relieve many, many believers of the fear that they're not making an impact. On the other hand, It is possible to delude oneself into thinking they're making an impact, a significant one, and they really are not. So take this as either a cautionary challenge and or a confirmation. So here are five marks that God is using you in tremendous ways. Number one, many different people tell you that the Lord changed their life through something you've written, said, or done. And the key word there is many different people. The thing about that is (laughs) most people, the vast majority who have been impacted by your work, by your ministry, will never tell you. So if many are telling you, that signals to you that the impact is huge. Number two, a few falsely attack you out of jealousy, most of whom don't know you personally. This is a key evidence that God's hand is on your life. If you're not being attacked, if some people are not gunning for you, then you can seriously question if God is using you in tremendous ways. This has been true historically. For movers and shakers in church history, they always had detractors. This is true today. This was true in the life of Jesus Christ. It was true in the life of Paul of Tarsus. It is a principle that does not move. Number three, you clearly see the evidence of your influence on specific people's lives, even though they may never mention it to you. I have said in a recent podcast episode to struggling leaders that one of the marks of a great leader is that a great leader influences people, but the people they influence often are not aware that they're being influenced. They will repeat almost verbatim, things they heard from the leader without recognizing or remembering where they heard it from. It just becomes part of their own psyche. I had this happen the other day. I was talking to a group of ministers about the things of God, and they were repeating things almost verbatim from another leader without recognizing where they got it from. It was fascinating. Number four. The fourth mark that God is using you in tremendous ways. The enemy tries to trip you up and cause you to stumble with unusual temptations. Now, there's no temptation that's not common to every person. But the kinds of temptations that will come into the life of someone whom God is using often are unusual. And number five, God puts you in situations that severely test your faith and reveal to you what's in your own heart. Now, keep in mind that we are in a spiritual battle. We're in a cosmic warfare. 
So when God is using a person powerfully, the enemy will do all he can to throttle it. And this is a backhanded compliment from heavenly realms. Also, the beginning of the Christian life is easy. The end is joyous. But the middle is where the fiercest battles take place and where many fall away. So be encouraged and keep your eye on the prize. Until next time, be good. Hey guys, this is a postscript just before you head out and we part ways. I have created a bundle of free resources. This would include my other podcasts, the YouTube channel, several free ebooks, free seminars, and other free resources. And you can find all of that at frankviola.com. And if you go to frankviola.com, you will see in the top menu a link that says free stuff. You just click on that and you will be taken to the free resources page. Also, a number of you have asked if you could donate to help defray the costs of the podcasts and also to express appreciation for the value that you've been receiving. You're under no obligation to donate. I don't ask for donations, but should you have it on your heart to do so, you can go to frankviola.us. That's frankviola.us. And that will take you to a donate page. There's three different options you can use to donate, all of them simple. Thank you very much, and God bless.